Okay, let's, let's move into some of the observations. Just walking up and down the room, walking up and down the room then, I could hear some of the issues that are coming up on the table. And so you've already picked up on some of the issues that I'm about to share with you, which is, which is fantastic. The first shift and change that's taking place is a change in consumer behaviour. And it's been driven no less from this population here on the screen, the Generation Y, the 20s, 30-somethings, are also known as the digital natives. Pretty much since the moment of birth, they had a smartphone attached to the umbilical cord with connection to the internet 24-7. They're an interesting breed and have, quite rightly, uh, clear demands and clear desires about what they want from the world. But it's driving some very, very interesting behavior. And in terms of commerce, what it's driving is shown by this graph by PricewaterhouseCoopers. It's from their World Watch publication. And what this graph shows is the percentage of the UK adult population that are active consumers, the buyers in the marketplace, whether personally or whether professionally. So the solid orange line that runs from the top left down to the bottom right, what that shows is the traditional non-digital consumer who would normally have bought offline. The dotted orange line going from the bottom left up towards the top right is the new digital native consumer. So the amount of people that are trading and would go as their default first place to go is to go and buy online. But just out of interest, who here has bought something online in the last month? Put your hands up. Probably 90% of the room. Who here has bought something online in the last month from a mobile device, a tablet or a smartphone? Yeah, probably about 50% of the room. And this is the trend. And that graph, the intersection, the important crossover point is now. It's 2015, 2016. It's at this point where more trade is going to be done in the digital space and done online. Now, whether or not the final ink is signed on the deal, metaphorically, in your business in the online space or not, here's a really important statistic. Google have said that through their research, that by the time that somebody first reach, a prospective customer first reaches out to your business to get in touch with you, interested in buying a product or service, whether that's by email, whether that's through an order online, or whether that's um, you know, instant message, or goodness, they may even pick up the phone. Um, whatever those means, they are 75% of the way down their buying journey before they reach out to you as one of their shortlisted potential suppliers. And where do they go and do the research that gets them to 75% of the way down that buying journey? They're doing it online. So the amount of trade that's done online is going to drive a very different result, which I'm going to share with you an important statistic by the end of this section about uh, the amount of train that's going to shift online over in, across the world between now and 2017. So what difference is that making? Well, not actually only Generation Y, the digital natives, but also I think us as, as consumers, as a general population, we're wanting certain things differently now. We're wanting unique. We're wanting personalized products or services. You're going to hear in the world of marketing more and more this idea about personalization. You can go onto the Nike website and you can personalize your own training shoe. Have a whole mix of colors as garish as you may like, but you can build your own training shoe to, to your own specific design. Gone are the days where you would have seen, say, post-2008, 2009, fields full of cars waiting to be sold by main dealers or uh, major motor manufacturers. Pretty much now you go into any main dealership and you have to wait eight weeks, 12 weeks, 16 weeks for your car to be built. Mass customization. So there's an opportunity to charge a premium for something that's personalized. And I want you to be thinking through your own products and service offerings about what is it that you can do to personalize your products and service because we all want something that's unique. But none other than the digital natives. They want something that's tailored and unique. They want it at the right price and at the right quality. And they want it now. And it's not only that generation. Of course, Amazon has conditioned us that when we press buy now, that we're going to have the goods arriving on our doorstep within 24 or even at worst 48 hours. Uh, only last week, Argos uh, are opening up digital st stores, and they said they're going to open them up in Sainsbury's, but they're also offering same-day delivery. In certain areas, of the, well, in London, for example, Amazon are trialing delivery within the hour for certain goods. And then you may have seen uh, news reports a, uh, nearly two years ago now, uh, Black Friday uh, nearly two years ago, where Amazon were talking about the development in um, the quadcopters 
And once they get um, Federal Aviation Authority approval, certain size boxes will land on your doorstep with one of these quadcopter draw drones within 30 minutes of you pressing buy now. Mad, crazy we may think, Amazon is a logistics business and they're darn good at it. But what does it mean to us? It means that our, us as a customer, and of course our customers, are expecting speed of delivery. Here's a writer downer, speed stuns, speed stuns. We now need to get from the point of somebody saying, yes, I'm buying, we need to get our product or our service out to our customer base quicker, quicker than ever before. Speed stuns. The last stage, we all go through a different buying strategy or a buying cycle. And the last stage of everybody's different strategy in terms of buying something always ends up with a gut feel, a feeling, a kinesthetic. Does it feel right or not? Is that right for me to do or not? And once we've decided, right, I want to buy that, whether it's a personal purchase or a business-based purchase, we kind of want it immediately, don't we? That our whole idea about human nature and instant gratification. So the quicker that we can fulfill on that desire, that emotional need, the better. And if we don't do it quick enough, somebody else could take over, take over that opportunity of that sale for, for us. So speed stuns. We're going to have to get our products and our market to the marketplace quicker.